Over the last few days, there's really been an emerging common theme guiding all of the stories, which is that key members of the GOP are trying to do and say anything to distract you and to lie to you, to go to the American people with a long list of dozens of excuses for why what happened in Texas happened because they don't want you to realize the truth, which is that it happened for one reason above all, which is that the United States has a terrible culture when it comes to firearms. They're far too available, all of that. But not all Republicans are equally crazy. And this is where our pal Lauren Boebert comes in. I have to set the stage a little bit because if I didn't, you wouldn't believe what I'm about to play for you. But Lauren Boebert just had one of the most ridiculous statements. When it comes to all of the Republican hot takes we've seen thus far on what happened in Texas, this may be the most ridiculous ridiculous. But one silver lining is that when you dig beneath Lauren's BS, you actually get to the truth and she's not going to be happy about it. So I'm at my first uh, time being able to talk with you. And I, I know that you've had a back and forth with uh, Ocasio-Cortez. And, and uh, what all of us are looking at, though, is beyond, you know, that kind of uh, argument and rhetoric. What exactly is happening? We know that things are being stopped in Congress. People want to know where uh, the Republicans are at, where you're at when it comes to what uh, the next step can be taken for some real change here. Right. Well, first of all, I, of course, my heart mourns for what has taken place. And uh, once again, unfortunately, we've proven that gun free zones are deadly and we cannot legislate evil. But I want real solutions, not just tweets. I want our schools secured. I want our children protected. And I want teachers that can protect themselves and their students. And you know what? We can achieve this without trying to disarm law-abiding citizens. For, for me, this is my equalizer. I need a way to protect myself and my children. And my firearm is my equalizer, my tool to do that. And what I've seen from Democrats is them trying to use this strategy, st tragedy to their advantage their radical political agenda. It's shameful. Schumer blocking the school safety bill on the floor just yesterday. Sandy Cortez tweeting at me, but she hasn't taken up my offer to actually meet and work together. And of course, we saw Beto acted like a total jerk and tried to use the deaths of these children as a prop to advance his political candidacy. When 9-11 happened, we didn't ban planes. We secured the cockpit. And of course, leave it to Barack Obama to make this issue more yeah. divisive instead of allowing the nation to come yeah. together, mourn, and heal. Well, in addition to Lauren typically attacking her opponents, AOC, Beto, all of that, going after Obama, just going after every Democrat she can think of in her stupid little head, then she makes a most the most ridiculous point we've seen, which is that after 9-11, we didn't ban planes. Well, Lauren, first of all, planes have multi-factored utility. You can't just use them for one thing, and so just because they happen to be used from that horrific incident, it doesn't necessarily mean they'll only be used for that. But what Lauren admitted there, even if only in one of the world's most record-breaking stupid speeches, one of the stupidest things said, even on Fox News, is that actually, maybe there is a solution about what the United States did in the aftermath of 9-11. And I want to read something to you from a writer who responded to Lauren's record-breaking stupidity by saying, instead, we temporarily grounded all flights. A series of security measures were immediately implemented in the interest of public safety, and more than two decades later, travelers still can't board an airplane without careful screening. In fact, travelers can't even buy a ticket without having their names go through a background check of sorts. Those who are included on watch lists are not allowed to fly. And really, that's just the start. The United States has an entire federal agency that's responsible for heavily regulating the airline industry, including how planes are built and made to ensure the public safety and creating rigorous standards for airports. What's more, when Americans want to fly, they have to show government-issued identification. When Americans want to become pilots, they have to go through extensive training before acquiring a government-issued license and operating an airplane. If buying guns were in any way similar to getting on an airplane post 9-11, the number of people killed by gun violence would fall dramatically. So thank you, Lauren. You are a dumb, dumb idiot. You said one of the stupidest things in the last 72 hours, and the bar for that is at the moon. But in your stupidity, you made it very clear. If we acted like this was the tragedy that it is, the laws coming out after it would make Americans much safer.